so then like I had to travel around for PTA and then like sometimes like I hadn't been to church in a while because the church we go to is in Malolos so then I asked him about churches and he like I went to church with my parents at his church Victory and then yeah so he came with us there and then I was hanging out with my friend at the fort and we had had dinner at her house and then he's like he wanted to meet up with us so like we already ate but he hadn't eaten yet so we went to a Japanese restaurant and we kind of just waited for him while he, eat, while he ate and then um oh, what happened to that um he had like a CD launch party yeah. and then he like invited me and I was like okay well I'm gonna bring my family um and so I brought like my mom, my dad, my cousin, and my two nieces, and then like the next day, I was oh my gosh, I was really surprised. It came out on UN TV. It was like because they were interviewing him for a really long time, and then I saw the interview the next day, and it was like um, it made it look like as if I was the only one there, and then he started like saying how he like liked me and things like that, and I was like, like what? This is crazy. Um, so then I was like being linked to him already, and I like um, I was being approached to enter ent the entertainment industry here, mm -hmm. and like I was kind of thinking about it. Was this recently, before you came here? Mm-hmm. This was May. Um, and so, and then I came back, yeah. and then like well while I was away. While I was in Canada, like my best friend, she emailed me um, this link to YouTube, and the heading was, "He's migrating to Canada for Risa Santos." And then I was like, mm -hmm. "Oh my gosh!" I was, "Oh, it's I was, out of proportion, really. I like wanted to." Oh, I was so mad. But it's, it's, it's like, multiple it. these days. It's wholesome. It's, yeah, you know what I mean? It's no, it's not really intrigue. It's just speculation. That, that, um, you know, that, that you're together and stuff like that. It's, it's For not, me, I felt, well, I felt disrespected. Yeah, really? Because I, I told him I only liked him as a friend. And so you, you actually saw him saying that he liked you and stuff? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Then I saw on Philippine Entertainment News Portal um, that he said that we were dating and that. He, the reason why I told you about those other things was, yeah, we went to the mall. To, Riza likes malls, so I took her to Gloria. That was the time that I went with my parents and we came. She, we went to a Japanese restaurant. That was the time I was with my friend. Okay. We even went to church together. And that was the time that I went with my parents. So I was really mad. Because, like, for me, like, I, I mean, it's come up a lot that I don't have a boyfriend. And... That's because, like, I really want to, like, wait for someone that is, like, really important to me. But then the, th the fact, it just bothered me because mm. it was, like, him. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, and it was so public. And so. It's quite shocking, really. It was, it was, and so I, when I did end up signing with Viva, because he's also with Viva. Yeah. Because um, I ended up signing with them because like initially like I was friends with him until it got kind of like weird But I'm still like friends with him again after that kind of Yeah, well, well thanks for sharing that with me. Yeah. It's, it's a big shock for me really. Yeah, like I t Well, I tried to make things clear. I when I did the music I don't, Well, I'm like saying this out loud, but um, so, so that's what I told the news reporters and everything. And then the article that came out the next day was like, Nahert, see Mark Bautista, so fuck the nine, you read So you And then you apparently his fans like got mad at me, so oh, I was really? like lying. Okay. And things like that. And then it came out, oh, is she using him? Right? That's the thing oh, that okay. I was getting to. Okay. I even saw it just before I came in. He was like interviewed on, by Chris Aquino, I think. If she asked him if Arufa Kacheras asked him if he thought I was using him. He said no because, like, I really wasn't. I just I don't know how 
things get so twisted and everything. It's like a huge misunderstanding. I, he kind of liked me, but I didn't like him, and it's just, I don't know how to tell people that I don't like them. Yeah, it's hard. Mm -hmm. It's hard. I mean, yeah. I really don't know what to say. That, that's a, uh, that's really messed up. <laughs> Well, you, you must, so you must know how I'm feeling right now. Yeah, when the FHM thing came out, yeah. I was shocked because I was sitting in my manager's office and we were watching um, news, TV news patrol. What does the boyfriend of Riza Santos think? But it turns out, and then well, I'm like, boyfriend? Everyone's like, boyfriend? And when it came out, it was like the very last thing out of like the hour news. And it was like, r rumored boyfriend. And then they were asking him what he thinks about it. And I'm like, and then like, he acted like he was surprised because I just didn't tell him I was gonna be on it because I don't owe it to him because, like, sure he's like my mm. friend, but you I don't need him. to you tell. Mad, you might be him or mad with the press. Mm, press, <laughs> and him for not. Not the, not coming out with the. It's just. Well, you never know. He, could, he maybe could have thought. He, uh, he, well, he apologized to me. Yeah, he maybe could have thought, nah, he's doing you a favor, or you know, because he's he's pretty well known, and maybe he thought, nah, he's doing you a favor, or maybe you wouldn't mind, or. Yeah, probably. I think it was just like so many misunderstandings, and then it didn't help that the media was involved. Because there was a time that. Like, I've had something like, not intrigue, but some, I didn't realize how much my comments would be, not exaggerated as such, but like people would really scrutinize what I'm saying. Like for example, one time, there's a reporter who come and approach me, like one of the press, and said, oh yeah, you know, you're John Avila, blah, blah, blah. And I said, yeah, and he said, where are you from? And I said, oh, I'm, oh I was born in London, you know, Don Donajo Le Marais. He's like, oh, okay, yeah. Well, that's strange because I have a great, I have a, a really, um, in, a really, a really good source now who's telling me you you were born here and you were raised here, and I was like, that's strange because I have a British passport. I've been here for like three or four years. I said, and I mean, I'm still in the process of learning Tagalog, so I was like. I was joking around because I don't know some of the swear words in Tagalog. I use them sometimes. I don't realize what I'm saying, like you know, gag or and mm -hmm. stuff like that. I don't realize the extent of how how bad they are. So I was like, I don't know, I was like joking around. I was like, like, mm. and then it really sounded really bad. I don't, I mean, but it said that in the article. So there was people commenting now. Oh my God, like this guy's really, you know, he's really. Aggressive or whatever. Well, I was just joking, mm -hmm. but the, but I just think nah, this guy's going around saying that he doesn't believe he th he he really doesn't believe that I'm, I was born in England and stuff. I'm a fake and I have a fake British accent and stuff like that. And I'm thinking, why would someone do that? You know? Yeah. Those are stupid things. I was like, he must be really bored or something. He's really trying to fight now. Nah, Really trying to fight the fact that I, I was I was born here and I was raised here. And yeah. I'm thinking, why why try? Because yeah, why? I have a British passport, and if I was born here, simply I'm more than not And then there's people. There's a comment saying, no, I've met this guy. He's really born in UK and stuff. And then this guy's making another comment that, oh no, he was born in here because of this, mm -hmm. because of that. I don't believe him. But tonight has really, really shocked me. Maybe it's just a test to see how we handle it. But it's it's caused tension now. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it's it's so hard to say. It does. I mean, even for me, I really want to. I really want to speak to her right now and just say, look, I'm, if you've got that idea, it's nothing like that. She's sweet, man. She's a nice girl. Mm -hmm. I enjoy spending time with her because she's crazy. She makes me laugh. You know. And I haven't exactly had the most. It's, it gets lonely here, you know. And I have yeah. uh, the last, the first few days I was here, I was really confused what I was feeling. I was praying, and, and she made me laugh and stuff, you know. So I owe that to her to be nice to her and stuff. But people think I'm using her. That's another, it's another level. It's like wow. I. 